Hello and welcome to another How to Code Well questions and answers video. Now I haven't done one of these in a very long time, but I've recently been asked the question on my very first MySQL tutorial that I did way back in 2012. Now the question is from Steve. Steve says, Peter, can you add a video on installing MySQL on Ubuntu plus upgrading the installation to the latest version? That would be great. As always, videos are awesome. Please keep them coming. Well, Steve, that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Now, installing packages in Ubuntu or Debian or other Linux distributions, it's not that tricky. However, when it comes to MySQL, you've obviously got to take care about the data and the configuration if you were to upgrade from one version to the next. So I'm going to install a previous version of MySQL. I'm going to install 5.6. Now I'm going to do this in Ubuntu 16.04. 16.04 doesn't have 5.6 by default, so I'm going to search for that package. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Then I'm going to install it. Then I'm also going to add a database, create a table and add some rows to that table. The reason being is I want to show you where those physical files live on the file system. We're going to do a MySQL dump to get that data. We're then going to delete MySQL 5.6 from the system. Then we're going to install 5.7 and then we're going to import that backed up data into MySQL 5.7. So there's quite a lot involved in this video. So do pause it and rewind it at your own leisure. As a side note, I do use uh, Docker in this tutorial. You don't need to worry about Docker so much. It's just the way I work. I've got a Docker container where it's Ubuntu and I'm installing and managing MySQL from that. Uh, the, the actual Ubuntu commands are exactly the same. So without further ado, this is how you install MySQL on Ubuntu and then upgrade that. Okay, so I'm going to use Docker to do this. So I'm going to create container and then clear that down. First thing we need to do is an apt get update to update the sources. Uh, I'll just let this run through. Okay, let's do an apt uh, cache. So instead of a get, it's an apt cache and then a search. And we're going to be searching for the MySQL packages. So we can see that we've got lots of packages that are relating to MySQL here. Let's go and try and filter this down. Clear the screen and then do a reverse search back to app cache. But we're going to pipe the output of this to grep and we're looking for mysql-server. So I only have mysql 5.7, so we need to update the sources. So let's have a look at what's in the sources list. Um, as you can see, the we have the latest uh, sources, uh, so we're going to need to add some. Let's clear that down and then echo the main as well as the universe sources list of trusty. Make sure you have the double arrow because this means that you are appending whatever you're echoing into the file. Um, so we have the main and this time we're going to do the uh, universe. So we're just going to double arrow that into sources list. That's streaming that into the sources list, appending it. Okay, so what we're going to do is an apt get update to update the packages. Now we've got the trusty packages, you see. So we can now do a clear and run that cache search again. So searching for the MySQL server. You can see that we have 5.5, 5.6 and 5.7, which is fantastic. Let's go and install 5.6. So MySQL uh, hyphen server hyphen 5.6. And let's run through this. So yep, let's install it. And at some point, it's going to ask me for my password, the root password for uh, MySQL. So I'm going to put that in now and then repeat it. And it's unpacking and it's doing all of its stuff and it's done. OK, so let's clear that down and then do a MySQL minus minus version. And that gets 5616. OK, that's good. So let's try and connect to it. Clear this down and then do a MySQL minus U root minus P and then put in the password. And we can see this, we've got this error here. This is because the service needs to be restarted. So service MySQL restart. OK, so the service is restarted. So I should be able to connect back to MySQL now. So I'm just going to go back to that, put in the password. And I'm actually going to create a database. So I'll create database. And I'm going to put in shop. And then I'm going to add a table. And I'm going to use the shop database. And I'm going to put in the uh, a user table. So create table, user, and it's going to be very basic. ID, which is an integer. 
of 11 and also a name which is going to be a varchar of 255. Okay, let's create that. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to insert into, into, yep, and then user. We're going to put in two values, so ID and name. And their values will be uh, one and the name Pete. That's a string, it needs to be in quotes. And then a comma, another value, which I'm going to do as two. And then another string, I'm just going to say Steve. And then uh, save that, that's good. Let's just make sure we've got that. So select all from and then user, and we can see that we have these two rows here. Okay, let's exit that and clear this down. Now I'm actually going to show you where these these files, these physical files are actually stored. So ls var lib, and they're in MySQL. Notice that there is a shop directory here. That actually has, let's go into it, MySQL shop. It actually has um, some files relating to the database as well as the tables. Another place is in etc uh, MySQL. And here we have the configuration files that uh, configure MySQL. Make sure that both of these are backed up if you've got data that you want to keep. Let's clear this down and then go back to the normal directory, home directory, and MySQL dump because what we want to do is back up the tables that we've just created minus u root minus p and it's the shop that's the name of the database we want to back up and we're going to stream that to shop.sql put in the password ls and we can see that we have the shop sql let's have a look at it catch shop.sql so this is a dump of the schema as well as the uh, the, the actual uh, data so insert into, so these are SQL commands. So we can import this back into uh, our updated database. Let's clear that down. Okay, so we're actually going to uh, remove the old MySQL 5.6. So it's apt get purge uh, MySQL hyphen and then asterisk. So it's going to purge and delete all the MySQL packages. And I'm just going to let that run through it. Okay, let's clear that screen down, make some room. And let's do an apt get. We'll need to do an uh, an auto remove. So that's just going to remove all the libraries that are connected to the packages that we've just removed. And also we should do an apt get auto clean just to tidy things up. And clear that down. Let's do an rm rf v of var lib uh, my sql so that's going to remove all of those files that i just showed you and cleared that and then the same again for etc uh, my sql so that's going to remove all the configuration clear that down and if we did a mysql hyphen hyphen uh, version we can see that we don't have mysql anymore let's clear this down and then what we need to do is have a look at the searches again so the apt cache search uh, and this time we're going to install 5.7. So apt-get install mysql hyphen server hyphen uh, 5.7. And let's just run through all that. It's going to ask me for my password again because it's a clean installation. I've removed MySQL before and now I'm adding 5.7. So let's put in the password again. So this is the password for the root account. And let's clear that down. Next thing we need to do is MySQL uh, hyphen version. And now we've got 5.7.18. Excellent. So what we need to do is MySQL minus U root minus P and put in the password. And if I did uh, show databases, uh, you'll see that we've got this error. Now, this is because we've deleted some of the directories. Often what you need to do is either restart the box if you can or remount some bits and pieces. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to exit out of the uh, Docker container. I'm going to stop it and then I'm going to start it again. So effectively just restart. So Docker stop. Um, you don't need to worry about this. This is just because I'm using Docker. So Docker stop MySQL 1. 
and then it should be uh, reverse search back to docker start let's change that to start and then do an execute to get back into the container okay so don't worry about that too much unless you're using docker let's clear that down okay so now i need to do a service uh, mysql uh, start to start the service then a mysql uh, minus u root minus p put in the password again and so we've got into this and we can see that we have a server version of 5718 which is great now notice if we do show databases we don't actually have the shop uh, database because this is a clean installation of MySQL so we need to uh, exit this and and then import uh, the shop.sql so it's in this directory here shop.sql but notice that uh, the shop.sql if I cat this shop SQL it doesn't actually have any commands to create the database so it's going to fail so what I need to do is, is either update this file to have that create database uh, command in or um, just create the database on the fly which is what I'm going to do so let's clear that down and then do uh, go back into MySQL put in the password and then just simply do a create database shop okay so let's exit out of MySQL clear this down make some room and what we need to do is import this so it's MySQL uh, minus u root minus p and then shop is the name of the database and then it's streaming that back into so streaming the, the SQL file into that put in the password then go into MySQL again uh, so put in the password um, and then we can do show databases and we can see that we have the shop database and also if I did use shop so we're now using that database so let's do a show tables we can see the users table and if I did a select all from uh, user then we have the two users so I created this table this database and these users in MySQL 5.6 and I've imported that into MySQL 5.7 let's do a MySQL hyphen hyphen version and we can see the version 5.7.18 so that's going from 5.6.16 to 5.7.18. So there you go. That's how you upgrade MySQL on Ubuntu. Now, I hope that's helped, Steve. If it has, then do let me know. So if you've got a question like Steve's or in anything in particular with web development, put that in the comments section as well. If you found the video helpful, then do like it, share the video around to those that might find it useful. And also do subscribe to pick up the web chats that I do each Friday as well as the tutorials that I do each Tuesday. Thanks again, happy coding. I'll see you again next week. Cheers, bye.